As a water sport, dragon boat racing has some element of danger. But that said, experience sweeps are a major factor in reducing risk. Within New South Wales, sweeps must be accredited by Dragon Boats New South Wales or under the guidance of someone who is. Sweeps have ultimate responsibility for the safety of their crews as well as the safety of other water users. And as such, they must stay alert to navigational hazards, steer the boat safely and maintain crew discipline. We'll begin with a couple of safety points for loading the boat. Firstly, check that all of the crew can swim. If anyone can't swim 50 metres fully clothed, an approved life jacket must be worn. In certain circumstances, such as paddling in alpine waters, all of the crew must wear life jackets. In addition, a head count must be conducted before leaving the loading area. This ensures that everyone on board knows how many people are in the boat and who they're buddied up with. Each paddler should introduce themselves to their buddy as this is the person they'll look for in the unlikely event of an accident such as a capsize. A safety bag containing a baler and a 25 metre tow rope must be loaded into the boat every time you go out. And if training at night, ensure that approved waterproof white lights are used. In addition, a mobile phone in a waterproof container must be carried in the boat. As a sweep, it's your responsibility to assess the weather conditions to ensure the safety of everyone. You should always check the weather conditions before a training session from a reliable source such as an internet weather site. If the water conditions look potentially dangerous, for example, strong winds are making conditions choppy or the forecast warns of an approaching thunderstorm, err on the side of caution and call the session off. If there's any chance of a potential lightning strike, don't launch the boat or if you're already out, get off the water immediately. When assessing conditions, also take into account the level of experience of the crew. An inexperienced crew is more likely to get into trouble in rough conditions. An unbalanced dragon boat has the potential to capsize or be swamped. Get the paddlers to sit upright with their hips against the gunwale and their blades above the water. If necessary, swap paddlers around to ensure the boat is balanced, both from side to side and front to back. For safety, don't swap more than one row at a time and ensure that all other paddlers have their blades flat on the water when movement is taking place. As the sweep, your stance will also have an effect on the balance of the boat. Stand with your feet set wide, one foot ahead of the other in a three-quarter stance with your knees slightly bent. Keep your back straight, your shoulders square and your head up. Dragon boat clubs are located on all types of waterways from quiet lakes and rivers to busy ports. No matter where you are, you must comply with New South Wales maritime legislation. Maritime safety rules can be found on the Dragon Boats New South Wales website, but for a more authoritative explanation, go to www.maritime.newsouthwales.gov.au. The general rule is always keep to the right and share the waterways sensibly. If there are bigger and faster boats around, keep out of their way. Take into consideration rowing boats. And remember that ferries have absolute right of way. Slow or stop your boat if you are unsure of where another craft may be heading, so you have time to readjust your course if required. It's essential that a standard set of dragon boat commands are used by all sweeps. This consistency lets paddlers know what's expected of them, regardless of who's sweeping. Good voice projection is also essential. There's no point giving orders if the strokes can't hear what's being said. The basic commands are Paddles up. The paddlers bring their paddles into the starting position just above the water. Go. The crew commences paddling. Paddles out. Let it run. The crew stops paddling and rests their paddles on the gunwale. Break the boat. Stop the boat or dig it in. Paddlers hold the paddle vertical and push down into the water as much as they can to bring the boat to a dead stop. Hold water. The whole crew submerge their paddles to stop the boat drifting forwards or backwards. This can also be used with side blades so the boat doesn't drift sideways. Draw water. Nominated rows on one side 
pull water under the boat to move the boat sideways. It's often used to move the front of the boat into position when at a race start. Paddles behind. Go. Paddlers should still be looking at the front paddlers to get the timing while paddling backwards. Developing your boat handling skills is a combination of common sense, practicing under a variety of water conditions, crew experience and power. When steering, you need to be aware of how the blade is positioned in the water. In order to hold the boat in a straight line, you want to have the flat sides of the sweep haul blade at right angles to the water. If the blade is on an angle, it will affect its reaction. The depth of the blade can affect control. Having a deep blade will give you more control, but it will also create drag. To turn the boat to the left, you'll bring the sweep oar towards you while the blade is in the water. This will push the water away from the boat. Be careful that the sweep oar doesn't catch in the water. If this happens, simply push down on the oar so the blade comes out of the water, then start again. To turn the boat to the right, push the sweep oar away from you. Again, take care that the sweep oar doesn't catch on the water or the back of the boat. Controlling your boat is more than just using the sweep oar. Think of your crew as the boat's engine. By using clear and concise commands, the boat can be manoeuvred in almost any direction, regardless of winds and wind direction. A good tip when drawing the front of the boat around is to have seats 1, 2 and 3 draw, while seats 8, 9 and 10 on the opposite side hold water. This has the effect of holding the stern steady while the front is drawn around. Remember that drawing at the front of the boat will move the boat forward. Take this into consideration when you use this manoeuvre. Reversing is one skill that needs considerable practice. The trick is to never leave your sweep oar in the water. Just make quick dips with only part of the blade as required. Always keep looking behind you and back to the front again and reverse slowly. Stop your paddlers a little way out from your desired point as the boat will continue to float backwards a little. Better to stop the boat and reverse again if needed than to hit something behind you. Not all waterway users take dragon boats into consideration. So dealing with large boat wakes can be a pretty common occurrence. The best way to avoid a capsize or being swamped is to approach the wake head on and if necessary, stop the boat and call for paddles flat. The slower you approach a wake, the less chance you have of taking on water. Sweeping in a race situation is very different to steering at training. The extra speed and power can take novice sweeps by surprise. Get as much practice as possible at keeping the boat on a straight course at full racing speed. Reversing the boat into a starting pontoon is another area where novice sweeps sometimes struggle. You must take into consideration the wind speed and direction and how that's going to affect your approach. Gently reverse the tail of the boat into the pontoon on a slight angle. And if necessary, use draw strokes to line the boat up into your lane. A common practice made by new sweeps in a race situation is leaving their sweep oars deep in the water as the boat is racing. Not only does this require a great deal of strength, it slows the boat down and increases the possibility of losing control. Practice taking the blade out or only having a small section of the blade in the water during training sessions so you can apply that in a race. Okay, well that's showing you the basics of sweeping. But before we go, remember these three points. One, as a sweep, you have ultimate responsibility for the safety of your crew. Two, practice makes perfect. Get out on the water to hone your skills. And three, have fun with your sweeping.